Every video game has casual players, diehard fans, and star players. In Fortnite, the biggest names in the game got that way because of their skills and tournament placements. And with tournament placement comes money. Today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 highest earning Fortnite competitors. These aren't just players with skill, okay? These are proven professionals who continuously outbuild, out edit, and out aim the competition. Hey, if you want a shot at placing in the next big Fortnite tournament, hey, head over to ProGuys.com to check out Instacoach. Play with some of the game's top players and learn their secrets and tips. Hey guys, once again, this is Keith Allen. Let's do this. So in the past, earning money in Fortnite tournaments was, well, well, it wasn't too easy. But when Fortnite announced its crazy $30 million World Cup prize pool, well, it totally surpassed not only itself, but every other esport tournament in history. With $3 million going to the winner alone, the finals will surely shake up this list big time. But let's take a look at the current list of top earning Fortnite competitors. Let us know if any of them surprise you. There are definitely some dudes on here that I did not expect to see. Coming in at number 10, we have the infamous Liquid Chap. He's a well-known pro player from Team Liquid and has been an OG for a long time. Honestly, I don't know a single person who hasn't heard of Chap. So up until the World Cup, Chap was a very competitive player, but his success seems to have slowed him down thanks to the many competitive changes Fortnite has continued to implement. They stripped away stress resolution after many of Fortnite's pro players have been using it since the start. His gameplay is a mixture of opportunistic combined with textbook playstyles. Regardless, Chap has won over $245,000 from tournament earnings. Some of those include many of the summer and fall skirmish series, where he demonstrated insane performances. Recently, he hasn't shown any real signs of dominance, but that's why he secured our number 10 spot. Morgasi, unlike many other popular pros, clawed his way into the scene through motivation and effort. He first made an impact at PAX West Fortnite Summer Skirmish Series. He popped off, defying the haters and winning first place. That earned him a cool $270,000. Wow. Here was a look at his reaction to winning. When we take a look at Morgasi's personality, he's a very likable character. It's a wonder why he hasn't built up much of an audience. He wins through passive gameplay, similar to many players who prefer to play for the end game. Recently, Morgasi hasn't been on the radar nor shown any significant performances, and we're inclined to think he dropped out of the sea. What do you think? When I hear the name Vivid, only one thing comes to mind, intelligence. It was the key trait that helped him earn a reputation, becoming one of Team Liquid's finest Fortnite players. Vivid has earned a total of, hmm, $288,000 in a span of under a year. I remember when he won his first tournament back in the Fortnite Summer Skirmish Series with Poach. This iconic event took place even before he was signed to Team Liquid. Here's a nostalgic recap of that. Vivid's definitely got what it takes to clutch games out. Unfortunately, he didn't qualify for the World Cup, but he had come really close. We hope that he can show us some substantial earnings in the future. Now, number seven. Speaking of pro teams, here's a player from Team Atlantis. Atlantis boasts some of Fortnite's most insane players from the EU region. One of them is Mitro, who has made $292,000 in earnings. His reign on the EU region is undisputed. Not only has he qualified in duels for the Fortnite World Cup, but he was one of Fortnite's first 200 IQ players. He busted out iconic plays in the fall skirmish that the community will never forget. This is it, one on one. The player up top knows. Mitro knows. He's running out of ammunition. Mitro versus Aragonist. He's testing, he's testing his might. He's gonna drop down a little bit, get closer. Dude, if he can create a small opening here, he can actually send him. Oh! No way! No, no way! way! Mitro! Oh Aside from that, I mean, he has many more impressive placements, including five first place achievements. Unfortunately, he was one of the victims who fell short due to the stretch resolution change. Despite that, Mitro isn't stopping and he will push no matter what to reach greatness. So we do expect him to climb up the list in the near future. Moving on to our next TO player, 72 Hours, better known as Tom. 
Now, much of Tom's career and character are built around his personality and creativity. Now, like his counterparts, Chap and Poach, he's been a day one player. Most of you probably don't know this, but before 72 Hours joined Team Liquid, he was actually a member of FaZe. Hmm. Most of his following and fan base is there, and once he joined Team Liquid, he expanded on that and boasts one of Fortnite's biggest fan bases via Twitch. Every time he streams, he almost always has over thousands of people watching. For 72 Hours, he isn't only known for his entertaining streams. While he didn't qualify for the World Cup, 72 Hours has definitely made a name for himself at other tournaments. He has many top five placements throughout the Summer Skirmish Series and Pop-Up Cups, but his competitive edge hasn't shown in recent events. We're hoping that he can pick his game up in the near future. Our fifth and final player from Team Liquid is none other than Poach. All of Team Liquid's Fortnite roster earned the top 10 for career earnings, which proves they're all phenomenal players. Personally, Poach has been one of my favorites since the start. This guy has an all-business approach to Fortnite, and he doesn't let anything else get in his way. Despite what many people say about him, he's actually one of the better players to learn how to build from. He'll teach you how to get in and get out with extra fluff. Some of you may not know this, but he's actually one of the pioneers of the tunnel meta. Poach proved himself in the summer skirmish, consistently placing in the top 10. While you may not like his safe and textbook gameplay, it has earned him over $320,000 in tournaments. In other words, if I were Poach, I wouldn't change a thing. Now into number four, we have Nate Hill. Everybody, including some of you guys, has to know this guy by now. Nate Hill is one of the Fortnite's finest competitive players. Aside from playing professionally, this dude's a model. The man's placed top five in nearly every skirmish he's competed in, along with his partner Funk Bomb. While similar play style to Ninja, this guy has much better placements and earnings than Ninja. Recently, Nate was thought to have dropped out of the competitive Fortnite scene, but he blew us away with his duo World Cup qualifier placement with Funk Bomb. He even manages to nail Ninja's duo single-handedly. I mean, check this out. Kidding me? Let me take that hit. Oh no. I believe you got high ground though. Yeah, I do. Watch out for thermal. Yeah, I saw you. They're turtling. You see him turtling right yeah. there? Ninja and Dr. Lupo. Interesting. Give it to him. He's... Oh my god, you're a god. You're a straight god. Legit though. Did you get the shields? Yeah, I got the one shield. Nate has won close to $350,000 in earnings and is one of the many players we're rooting for. Now let's find out our three finalists. Coming in in third place, ladies and gentlemen, we got Cloaksy. He's currently the captain of FaZe and he partnered up with Tiful a while back. Much of Cloaksy's reputation is built around his entertaining stream, which is why he is currently one of the most viewed Fortnite players on Twitch. His gameplay, you know, is very calm and composed. However, where he truly shines is his team play. We see great examples of that when he pairs up with Tifu. He's almost always shouting out and calling out all the shots. When we take a look at placements, this guy has plenty of ranks to back it up. With $420,000 won, wow. This includes a first place with Tifu at TwitchCon. We won't see him competing in the World Cup, so we're hoping Tifu can avenge his fallen comrade. Cloaksy is definitely a fan favorite, and we're hoping him much success in the near future. So you might have guessed the next player on our list by now. Yep, that's right. Tifu is a professional Fortnite player who holds the world's record as one of the top three highest earning competitive Fortnite players globally. He's won over, okay, $500,000 from tournament winnings alone and earns hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month streaming on Twitch. So luckily for all the Tifu fans, he is qualified for the World Cup in solos. Tifu is the master of his craft and is one of the most lethal players in Fortnite. So if you're asking about Tifu placements, it's because he has too many to count. He's gotten very close multiple times to qualifying the World Cup duos. Unfortunately, he didn't make it for duos. Ooh, rest in peace. <laughs> But Tifu does excel when it comes to solo gameplay even more than duos. So we have something to fall back on. He originally started off as a solo and built his fame off of that. Tifu's got a great shot at taking the cake in the World Cup, and we hope to see him in the future competitive scene. So by this time, could you guess who's got the most Fortnite earnings? Okay, ladies and gents, we are down to the finale. 
First place is none other than Ghost Bizzle. Now, many of you guys might not have expected this, and trust me, I also thought Tifa was number one for earnings too. I mean, I, I just, I mean, come on, we all did. But apparently not. Turns out, Bizzle has participated in more competitive events than Tifu and has placed top 10 in nearly all of them, which gives him the top spot. Easy. When we talk about strategy, only one player comes to mind, and that's Bizzle. He's widely considered to be one of the best solo players worldwide. His fame spreads across the NA, EU, and Asian regions. But what makes Bizzle so fantastic? Hmm, well, he specializes in a different and consistent type of game style. He doesn't just try and get ahead looking for only kills. His main focus is the end game. If there's one thing that I can vouch for is Bizzle is always making an end game. He even nailed Tifu in a 1v1 back in the secret skirmish. Let's take a look. The aspect of Fortnite's fundamentals takes him a long way because he's able to manipulate things to his favor. His total earnings, okay, are $511,000, which set the record straight and puts him in our number one spot. So what did you guys think of the list? What were you expecting? Or did you envision some different competitors? Let us know down below and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, we upload daily. Hey guys, once again, this is Keith Allen. Hey, thanks so much for all your guys' support and connect with me on my Instagram. I wanna hear from you. We got some things coming out you don't wanna miss. Stay tuned.